If you truly understand AWS, you can get money coming out of your mouth like this. So hey, what's poppin' everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how AWS's console might not be the best and how they are here and trying to improve it. So recently, AWS just released dark mode, not for the console, unfortunately. I know a lot of people want that for the console, but AWS dark mode for the documentation, um, which is kind of important because at least at one point in your time in learning AWS or using it, you're gonna have to know the documentation for maybe like the CLI commands. So now that it is, um, has dark mode, so let me show you that. So if you go to the documentation page, you'll see that they've been updating this recently, of course. But uh, if, you, if you go to the, there's a preferences tab in the top right, then you, knew you can now have change the text theme to dark or maybe the code theme to dark as well. So let's try both. So text theme made everything dark much nicer in my eyes. I can actually open my eyes now, which is great. And then there's this code theme, which is dark as well. There, we don't uh, see any immediate changes, but let's check out to see um, some pages. So let's go to EC2 maybe. Probably one of the most used services. So look at this, it's pretty nice. Let's see some actual text. This is, this is readable. I can now study for AWS certifications again because my eyes are no longer bleeding. <laughs> All right, so maybe uh, let's, let's look at some code as well because there's also change for code theme, which I'm assuming a lot of people were asking for because they changed this before they changed Lambda, or like not Lambda, I want to go to Lambda, that's what I want to go. But they changed the themes before um, they changed, so that's interesting. Didn't I click code theme here? There's a little bit of bugs in this. I didn't make this code, but uh, I'm pretty sure I changed this to dark theme, but it wasn't changing. So let me go back. So maybe, maybe I'll give them the feedback and report that. <laughs> so let's see. So preferences, code theme, light, dark. Okay, that's, that's broke. Oh, no, wait, no, that's broken. On second thought though, it does work when I go to sample apps. I don't remember which page I was on before, but light theme, dark theme. Okay, it works somewhat. So that's really all that matters. But <laughs> they got some cool dark theme stuff there. But not everyone uses the documentation. So let's see how they can improve the console because the console does not have dark theme. So <laughs> one of the most biggest complaints about AWS is that the console is really confusing. But for example, um, and one of the reasons why is because a lot of the services kind of have like are different. So if we go to like systems manager, like a lot of complaints are for that service. Systems manager. So you can see, okay, they have stuff on the left side and there's a lot of stuff on the left side because system manager does a lot. But we can compare that to something like EC2 it has a lot of stuff on the left as well, right? And one thing that people don't like is that they don't like change. And if they keep, if they change the console so much, it's just going to become more and more difficult to use it. Like, I think AWS has this problem where they want to keep adding new services, new solutions, and they never stop to, I guess, work on old ones, like fix bugs with old services and old UIs. So one of the reasons why kind of like the services are so like discombobulated, look, look at S3, it's so, so much different from the systems manager and like S, uh, EC2. And uh, I mean, at least the UI is different. It has stuff on the left side here, but it, it just looks much more different. And I think that's because like S3 is very highly used as well. But I don't, they're not gonna have the same amount of polish for something like not, not many people will use. So I don't think too many people use Athena. I mean, it's used with um, S3, but it's not nearly used as much. So like, you, you don't even get this thing on the left side here. So that's one of the issues where like, they, they always have like this getting started thing, at least most of the time, but they don't have always like consistency. That's one of the problems. That's what I would wanna see if they were gonna rework this and a dark theme would be nice as well. So one of the reasons why it seems so disconnected like between services is that a lot of these services are made by different teams. Like there's a team for like each of these services most of the time at AWS. So of course it's gonna be hard to coordinate like a, a unified, I guess, UI design. I'm sure there are some unified UI designs like we saw with EC2 and System Manager that had stuff on the left, 
which a lot of websites have, though. But they just keep adding more and more features, and instead of like focusing on like making everything in sync with each other. So one way of kind of improving your experience when using AWS is kind of just not to use the console at all. And that's, of course, to use AWS CLI, command line interface. So a lot of people don't like using the console, like for various reasons. Um, it's kind of hard to use. Sometimes it doesn't work the way you intend it to work. So they just avoid it altogether. And they might use CLI to want to get around that. So like you can make calls directly from your computer. Or they might even make like uh, CloudFormation templates to make sure, like write all the code, like so you can call and create services outside of the console because people don't like using the console. So another issue that people are having is that I was looking at a Reddit thread and people were having accessibility issues with like screen readers, which is kind of like kind of very important. Like if uh, people who have hard to see or have a hard time seeing the screen, screen reader is very helpful. And if they can't access the page at least 70% of the time or something like that, like then it's very it's a big issue for them. And it's kind of like not not very not very nice of a website if that it's not accessible. And oftentimes like you can get sued for that, like just for not being accessible. So another thing that people dislike about the console is that everything is in like a sub menu or a drop down. Like I, for like demonstration here, like I hid all services so you can go through like this drop down to get to this drop down and to EC2, and then there's these drop downs. Like there's a million different drop downs. If we go to instance, then we're going to drop down for this. People don't like a million drop downs, so of course there's ways to get around that. But let's look at the old EC2 experience and. I mean, yeah, there's there's still drop downs in places. Um, this page doesn't actually have any drop down. Oh, uh, that's not a drop down. It's just like a, a sort thing. But there's a lot of drop downs, and people don't like as many drop downs. So of course, there's like trade offs though, and that's their decision. So another service that people do not like on the UI is CloudWatch logs, which if you ever need to get some logs for anything then it is very useful to have, except like you wouldn't want to use the like the CLI, or at least most of the time, you wouldn't want to use the CLI to getting for getting logs. You kind of want to see like all in a nice dashboard. You wouldn't want to like see it on your terminal. But <laughs> look at this. There's so much going on the screen right now. Just one look at this. Like there's an update up here, discover application endpoints issues with blah blah blah. I don't know what that means. But then here we go with the drop downs again, all resources. I don't have any resources. But of course, I'm using a root account, which I shouldn't be doing. But there's there's so much going on right here. And like <laughs> there's so many different things on the left, left side of the screen. Like it could be split up a little bit, maybe. And then let's look at some logs. So if we create a log group, let's just see. Uh, Log group name. We'll just call the call this like this video, please. And then boom, we can create some log groups. And they, they keep asking for feedback as well. I, I feel like, in my opinion, they shouldn't ask as much. Like, but I don't know if if they ask for feedback on every page. I, maybe I should maybe I should say that. Send us feedback. Stop asking me feedback. But anyways. Uh, it, it just it just seems a little bit complicated in my opinion. So oftentimes the um, the when they transition from new UI to like old from old UI to new UI, they oftentimes come up with issues as well. So this is in the same Reddit thread. I'll link in the description. But this user had issues when they they were try using the old UI, which was working for them fine. But then they they want to fix it. Is what I like to call. We're gonna fix it and add new features to it. But in reality, we're just gonna break it. So <laughs> they they made a uh, Cloud Schwags more less user friendly when they um, when they updated it. I guess. Um, so usually you go to view logs when stuff is broken. Often like produ prod production systems, you, whenever you like something is broken to production, you definitely don't want like to run into these kind of systems UI issues, and that's very stressful. I agree. So, <laughs> I mean, they could improve a lot, and 
But that's not how they're making money though. And unfortunately, most people that care about the UI don't really make the decisions in the company. Uh, they might make some decisions, but they don't make the important decisions of whether to use like AWS or Azure. And that's why they're not gonna update it, unfortunately. But don't worry, in 2020, reInvent, they're going to announce AWS Organize, a free feature to let you organize your AWS web console and not to be a haphazardly organized streaming mess. So I remember um, before that there was some kind of external tool which made the AWS console better, but, <laughs> but I, I don't know. So like this person compares it to Azure. So we're introducing the AWS Azure console, bringing the Azure AWS Azure console right to your AWS environment. This way you can hate us even more. Oh my God, I love Reddit. Anyways, that, that should be the end of this video. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done with AWS. I'm moving to Azure. I hope you liked it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you later. Peace.